Hi everybody, welcome to week two of our pharmacy unboxing videos. I'm joined by Justice Hudson Hi. today from uh, the Grovey education team. And we're going to show you what you have in your box this week. Quite a few of them you've seen before. They were in last week's box, but now you get another chance to cook them and enjoy them in different ways. So, uh, to begin with, we have again oh. Eric Freelands, which is a local farmer. Mixed berries. Yes, and if we'll just, my favorite, the golden raspberries. Those are good. They're almost mm -hmm. getting better. The strawberries are my favorite. Especially this next week supposed to be so hot. Mm. These are so refreshing. I can imagine sitting out on my porch. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. So you have those to enjoy. So what do we got next? Ooh, a head of lettuce. A head of lettuce. More salads. It's a great time for salads, honestly. Great time for salads. Um, yeah, I mean, like I say, hot day. Add some berries into the salad. A little sweetness. That's, really yeah. does help a salad. Yeah, so lettuce is just a great base and you can add all kinds of veggies to it. There's a lot of stuff in here that can be put into a salad. And um, next up, what we haven't seen before yet, um, some little turnips, which um, apparently the the top, well you can eat the entire turnip. Um, it's super good. The root, you can, I think these were described as salad turnips. Mm. Kind of like good to be eaten raw, sliced thin. But yeah. the, uh, the greens, you can saute those up, and they actually have more nutrients than the root. Wow, than the really? Yeah. But um, I didn't grow up eating turnips. I didn't either. I started eating turnips when I started working here. Yeah. And uh, my favorite way is to saute the actual turnip. So if I was going to cook with these, I would saute my turnips and the greens. And, I mean, that's a stir fry with just one ingredient, with really. One, yeah, with <laughs> one plant, which is great. And I think for storage, if you're going to use both parts of these before you put this in the fridge like just take the root off of the greens because the greens will pull some moisture out of the root and um totally yeah. and those greens are definitely going to spoil faster so you oh, want yeah. to use those up faster than the actual turnip itself for sure so that's a great addition all right my favorite vegetable broccoli broccoli, <laughs> broccoli is so delicious it okay so there's good. so many things you can do with broccoli so many. you guys have already seen this um, stir fry is my favorite food ever, but you can also use this. You know, I made a broccoli burger. If you're feeling adventurous, burger. you yes, it, it's very simple: broccoli chickpeas blended together. Um, bake these first, and then you blend it with the chickpeas, and it comes into like a really nice like paste. Wow! I and I just shape that. it into a burger and, and fry it up. So that's a way, especially if you have broccoli that's been sitting in your fridge for a while and you need to get it used. That's a way you could do that. That's awesome. Love that tip. Then we have this is new this week, but a very familiar vegetable. We have two beautiful tomatoes. These are huge. They're Emma, heavy. that it's the time of the year where tomatoes are going to be everywhere. I know tomato. It's the season for them. Yes. I mean, who doesn't love tomatoes? Oh my! So. You know, it's such an old-fashioned slice them and salt them and eat them for breakfast. Oh yeah, love it. It makes soups and salads. Curry. Add it to cucumber salad. Oh yeah. Add for, it to anything really. For sure. Just make sure you want your knives to be really sharp before mm -hmm. you cut these. Otherwise they're a real pain to slice. You don't want to slice your finger off. Okay. Alright. And then we've got some hearty kale. Kale, the superstar of the vegetable world. It's like everyone's talking about kale now. Everyone's talking about kale. And it's also it's like lettuce grew up a little bit and and you know and really got its its life together because you can do so much with kale that yeah. for some reason you can't really do much uh, as the similar no. things with lettuce it's just a little bit more substantial a little heartier you can yep. bake it and it turns into the chips or I when think, you saute yeah. them it holds its shape too a little better too it doesn't wilt yeah. down as much it's so healthy mm. so don't be afraid of kale we love kale um and then another fun new ingredient yes. are garlic scapes oh. and we did a video this week of what you can do with garlic scape. We made a tzatziki, um, an infused oil, and a pasta sauce. But basically, this is just the top of the garlic. Tastes just like it. We, yeah. tried, we tasted it yesterday. My first it time really tasting spicy. it yesterday. Yeah. So it's spicy, raw, and then cooked, it is a really nice yeah, garlic beautiful. flavor. And it awesome. doesn't burn. Like doesn't burn. Garlic root. Yeah. Um, but I have a feeling that the ends, like the end few inches, are really, really fibrous. So. You might want to make sure you slice it thin when you use it so it kind of breaks that down. Just like uh, the greens of a green onion, I'd say. Oh, I would yeah. chop them as fine as I could get them yeah. and saute them. Just like garlic you added at the end, I would add it, these at the mm -hmm. end as well. Yeah. 
personally. So have fun with these and uh, check out that video if you're at a loss for what to do with these. Mm. With Make that pasta recipe too, it's delicious. Yeah. All right, it's also the season for cucumbers. cucumbers. So cucumbers, uh, you know, I think they get a bad rap and that they're boring, but man, no, there is nothing like cooling down. This is like anytime you wanna make something spicy, having just cucumber salad on the side, it it's really beautiful. cools it down. Yeah. Hot days, just munching on a cucumber. And kind of like lettuce, technically you can cook cucumbers, but I'm not, I don't know, I've I don't, never actually done that. I've cooked a cucumber and they come out good. Okay. I just think that you're taking away what makes a cucumber a cucumber is that nice cooling effect that you get. And when you cook yeah. it, I don't know, it just becomes another fried green yeah, vegetable. Yeah, well, and it's fun. They are cool vegetables because the inside apparently can be up to 20 degrees cooler. Really? Than the outside. <laughs> yeah, so they're definitely a hydrating, cool vegetable, lots of water. That's um, awesome. And then uh, we forgot another tomato. <laughs> so you have so many tomatoes. Um, maybe you have some sandwiches or perfect for your burgers on the yeah. 4th of July if you're having burgers. You so. could do lettuce wraps here, oh, you could goodness. do cucumber and tomato salad. So much. Oh, I'm just looking at this, it's making me hungry. Yep, and it is lunchtime. So it is we're lunchtime. Go eat. <laughs> Enjoy your bag this week. Thanks and for we'll, tuning in. Yeah, we'll talk to you next time. Bye.